Hi, it's Pekka from Rockbullet and let me introduce you third person for the Megamax and she is looking great. I have been working not like a crazy but I have been working over here to get her ready because my dream is to get her to our forest. She's at the moment in my workshop's yard and I hope after a few weeks I can take her to forest. Even she's built from the more or less from the same components, diesel engine, pumps, crane, and drive motors, wheels, and a lot of things that I already had in the first Megamax prototype because I was happy for those components. She's, she's already a totally different machine. For example, over here in the last version, I had the hydraulic hoses exposed over here, so this time everything is hidden. That was pretty huge task for me to get those things uh, inside the steel structures, but at the moment that is something super nice. When you go to forest, so again, like always, rock bullets. She is the only purpose for her is to be good forestry machine. So when you go with her to forest. She has to do the task. There is also some updates for the drive system. There is bigger drive motors for the forwarder. Then there is more handbrakes and fast and slow gear, so you more torch you can drive to bigger hills. And what is super nice at the moment, there is also electrical differential locks, independent for the rear and the front unit. So if the rear unit is free spinning, you can just have over here differential lock, or if, if you want to have that to the front section, you can have so that kind of super nice things for the first drive. This Megamax is still a little like prototype, so I'm still missing the holder for the wood material. I don't have windows and that kind of stuff. So that's why I have to wait a few weeks before I can take her to forest. But that is like my next target. Get her finalized, get gas components over here, and then load her over to my truck and take her to our forest, because I really want to drive it her over there. But I just I just, just want to show her for you. And she's looking great. I, I, I love the new cabin. New cabin, I think, this one is the good one. It's roomy, I have space all over myself, so if I go like this I don't bang my head to the windows which are still missing, I, I will have over here windows. And also you might notice that over there is this roof window, so when I'm doing the harvesting I can look through the roof window, three tops and look for the quality, are those good or bad ones, and then I can make the good harvesting. So this is actually pretty important about this roof window. And of course Megamax has that. So I have over here like a lot of new stuff which I like. For example, hood. You can easily lift her up with hand, one hand. There is engine, everything. And then uh, actually diesel tank is over here and the battery is over there. So pretty easy to maintain. I will make three versions for the Megamax. One is this combi machine, or actually this is more for water, but anyway it's like combi machine that you can go to forest, you can cut down the trees, and then this road area you can of course lift it away, and then have like nice harvester stuff, and then like lift the road area back on, and then drive around. Then I will make harvester, which is just for the harvesting. Then I will actually have different rear frame for that. Then I can just optimize everything for that. And then version which is only for the forwarding. But anyway, most likely forwarder and the combi will be more or less with the same structures. Harvester will be different because I can optimize everything for then for the uh, harvester, of course, the front unit most likely will be the same. 
she's grey, not orange. I will not update Rockbullet's color. Rockbullet is still orange machine. I will have over here uh, stickers, orange stickers and that kind of stuff to make her more Rockbullish. The thing is that I didn't want to paint her 100% orange because if you paint that kind of like bigger mass into orange, it looks pretty awful in my mind. So if I don't like about something, then I cannot just do it. But this uh, gray, that is something that works in this kind of in this size in this size machines. It works pretty great. I think I will keep the original lock bullet still in the orange. That is at, at the moment at least my idea. But Mega Max will be uh, gray with orange decals. I have over here my C container. And when I was designing Mega Max, the one big thing was actually that I can also deliver is, for example, to USA, Canada and other overseas locations. And of course to continental Europe and UK. Uh, 70 to 80 percent from my sales is exporting from Finland, so that's why it's a pretty big thing for me. The width for the Mega Max is one one meter ninety cents, or so one one ninety. I was thinking first that one eighty, but to make nice cabin, I noticed that it has to be like a little wider. So the five centimeters in the both sides, that is a big thing actually. The height from front to top is about 250 or 255 and that is just the container door, just. And when you take uh, the pressure, we press her down, she will come down few few centimeters or few inch and then she can fit inside. The length is about 6 meters, so just correct size. There is palms grain in this machine. So this is the same grain that I had in my first Megamax prototype. I don't know which grain I will use in the future. For the machine builder or manufacturer, it, it doesn't actually matter which grain you, you are using. I have a grain base and then I have different both patterns over there. And then I just lift over there and both grain in and that is that's it. Other thing, I know that people are thinking that which harvester head I will use. This is crap or not harvester head. And it's the same thing actually for the machine builder. You need just have like hydraulic hoses, bring in some fluid, and then you both over here, and that is more or less it. So it's not so big thing for us, for the machine builders, which grain or harvester head you are using. The main valve is something that is like more important for the machine builder. I want to use just like, I hope one side of the main valves. But the cranes, I will have something which is like the normal version, but then I think that customers can hope different versions if you want to have. Because it's just bolt on. Sorry for the crane manufacturers, it's a big thing. But anyway, in practical terms, it's both on and it's not like any major issue. I know that there's huge amount of people at the moment watching this video, technical details and everything, and like thinking like, why you don't have that? Why you don't have that? Uh, this is now third prototype. I did make her from the first prototype's components and and there is like, I just want to take her to forest and learn how to make her even better. She's already like, I did fix like the major issues, like those hoses in the uh, buggies and that, that, kind of, that kind of stuff after, uh, after first prototype. But there is still so much things to be done. And of course, I will follow my customer hopes. I don't like how I do the. I have made 80 of those original lock bullets. And how I do is that I listen, I want to make it better, but of course, it like machine has to be like one good unit. So I cannot follow all the hopes. 
uh, the main hope that customer can have is that to make a good first machine. And that is the hope I will follow and make the good first machine. Yeah, I think we are in the road for something great. And if you want to follow the road, please follow Lockbullet's channels, then please... Now it's raining. Then like the video and see you next video. Thanks a lot and bye.